So what, is, is he just going to steal him and keep it for himself? Yeah. They go for they go for a high dollar. Actually, no. But the truth of the matter is, though, is that if you remember the memorandum? Somewhat. The one where uh, Alexis, where he needed three different key items to get into the back room? Yeah. We've got two of them. Sadly, Alexis got the third. Ah. Uh, son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. It's her shoe. Damn it! <laughs> what the hell? This rings a bell. I think I've been here before. Twins and their father. Three weird holes open. Boy's finger, man's mouth, girl's bosom. Okay. Bosom? Bosom. The, yeah, you said bosom. Sorry. The girl's bosom. <laughs> <laughs> so now we examine the jewels here. The girl's bosom. We got Alexander's jewel. Which we'll use right there. I guess the same is true with the boy's ring. So we'll take off Alfred's little ring, which I would have kept because this looks like very nice. Sapphire. But now we gotta find a way to get the third one. Is it red? Yep. Ruby. The bio has. Oh, damn it. Does Alexia somehow mm -hmm. know what the hell? Oh, hello, Claire. She's fainting inside the cocoon, but I need to do. Oh, Hold up. What? We're gonna cut real quick because I forgot the fucking knife! I need some kind of tool. My hammer! Claire. Chris! you so much. I know. But we have to get out of here. Not yet. We have to find Steve. Who's Steve? He's a boy who escaped from that island with me. But then a monster attacked us and we got separated. So that means Steve is still somewhere in this base? I'm sure of it. <laughs> it's Alexia! Alexia? There really is an Alexia? <laughs> it is almost time, you genetically inferior siblings. <laughs> After her. She might know where Steve is. Let's go. <laughs> This is a yawn too? No, that was a tentacle. That was a tentacle. Sweet stuff, a tentacle. <laughs> Chris! Uh. No! What the fuck? Not Chris's leg! <laughs> well, that was the voice actor. <laughs> Secretly. By the by, I want you to call it. Um, that sounded like that sounded like a girl screaming in the distance. We ought to go save him. <laughs> and then, and then, and then, Chris, when she's gone. <laughs> ah! Okay, we don't need that going off like three minutes. <laughs> yeah, I know. If you have the shotgun, you can get some extra grenade rounds back there. But I left that on Chris. <laughs> Damn. Uh You don't need anything else from guns in terms of guns here, but what you're gonna want is a healing item or two. Well yeah, because you're hurt. Pretty bad. Oh you'll see, it's it's also one of the game's finer dick moments. How so? They're finer dick moments? Yeah. Hmm, look at that fine dick. <laughs> Gross. Just leave her with these two. Uh, but you have no weapon. Don't need it. Actually, wait, I think I do need at least a pistol. And a shotgun. No, Chris has a shotgun. How am I going to do that without yeah, Chris? Yeah, I know. <laughs> Telepathy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
I guess the, I guess all twins have. Hey, look, it. hey, look a Hershey bar is a door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, no dog. Okay. Lock from the other side. See a bit of an upgrade. No windows. That's wonderful. <laughs> All right, so since why did Code Veronica just give up and decided to copy the Spencer estate? Well, this is not the same. I don't remember. As as soon as we as soon as we hit where to get that map or scroll, whatever it's supposed to be in this game, I don't know. And I need the fucking card reader back. We're not, it's not a card. I just went in this room a little early. Relax. I wasn't panicking. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, relax. Even though you're not panicking, relax. What is that? One of, one of the game's few dick moments left. The Asher family's most important secret is kept in the lab, so we have a self-destruct device in the control room. Okay. And I wrote it down in this diary. <laughs> <laughs> Once it's input, all door locks are released to provide easy access to the escape route, so at least he thought of his men. And the password is, again, Veronica. Are you surprised? Ooh, have we acquired a cannon? Oh. What the hell? One of the dick moments in the game. A death trap? Yeah. You have to put the ball in there and then get out as quick as you can. Uh -huh. It's like... It's timed. Ooh! Ooh, Christ. Oh, that's automatic. Hey, look, that cell's open. Oh, now they're going to climb stairs. An I might just take a chomp. An event four games in the making. <laughs> By the way, they were, we were auto easily able to automate running up and down the stairs in uh, previous in Resident Evil 3. So why isn't it go Veronica? We're back to doing the button press thing. Budget. Throwback. <laughs> Throwback. Throwback Thursday. <laughs> that better not have been the motto of this fucking game's development. This is an utterly absurd hallway all of a sudden. All of a sudden? As opposed to the rest of the game. Uh, why does she look back? Because it's the point of no return. Maybe it's locked. Oh, damn it. Oh. Hey, Steve. Steve? Oh, Claire. No, I can't do it. Who did this to you? That crazy woman told me she was going to perform the same experiment on me that she did on her own father. She's completely insane. Uh. What's wrong? Claire! Can't breathe! Claire! Help me! This is one of the finer moment, dick moments in the game, by the way. All you have to do is run from him to make it to the end of the hallway. He hits like a truck. If you don't have at least one or two healing items to keep yourself alive throughout this hall, you cannot outlast them and win the fight. You cannot win. Jesus! Damn, he's agile. I would like to remind the audience, by the way, that if you happen to have no healing items with this, or if you fucked up royally bad, tough shit. The game can be unwinnable there. Oh, 
You're warm. Steve, you've got to hang in there, okay? Uh, my brother's come to save us. We're getting out of here. Your brother kept his promise. I'm sorry, I cannot. What? What are you saying? I'm glad that I met you. I... I love you. Claire. Steve? Steve? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> So that was the best cutscene in all of Resident Evil history right there. And Chris takes time to admire the brother. <laughs> like, what the hell is he doing? Oh. Oh. <laughs> really? Not even the fucking trophy system like Steve. <laughs> ...for the creation of the T. Veronica virus. And now the only existing sample is in your body. I want it. Now. You want it? You are not worthy of its power! Reason number one of why you bring the Magnum to the boss battles. Alexia yeah. transformed. And she has fire blood. If she catches you, if she catches you, it's a one hit kill as she emulates you. I did say emulate, right? Not emulate. Emulate, yeah. And she's down for the count. Nice. Really? No. It's a Magnum. Yeah. And just like that, her plot blood dries off. <laughs> <laughs> That's kind of an interesting uh, weapon. Fire blood. It's as interesting as a wet farm. That's one step away from fire breathing fists. <laughs> <laughs> but it only works because she cut her she her wrists were slit in the process. Yeah. Nah. Well, she doesn't give a Wait fuck. Wait a minute. He has a combat knife. There's a second one over here. Oops. Hmm. Oops. Uh, there's now I item. have two. Now I can perform my combat knife juggling act. <laughs> <laughs> the kids will love it. Alexis Choker. Yeah. You know, I never got the name Choker. Neither did I. I never liked it. I know it goes around the neck area. I guess that's why it's called Choker. It's like, it tightens the uh, necklace around you. Yeah. But I still don't like the name myself, I agree. What's in here? Great background. <laughs> what happens to the, yeah, what happens to the fucking mansion? What, wait, did we happen to, Cap did we just jump into Captain N? No. <laughs> Shut up. 
<laughs> Listen, I just ran to someone that had fire blood. You're nothing to me. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen shit, okay? I've seen shit that'll make your hair turn white. The Coveronica report. After many long years of research, uh, apparently Alf... Uh, what's the father's name again? Alexander... Well, Inherit, identified the inheritance element that administers the intelligence of man. Wasn't it Edward? No, Edward was the grandfather. Oh, okay. I have even succeeded in manipulating the absolute value of intelligence artificially by recomposing the base alignment of the element. If you're imagining bullshit all over this journal, I don't blame you in the slightest. <laughs> he then sampled the gene of the great ancestor, manipulated its element, then implanted it into the unfertilized egg of a surrogate mother. So Elliot was right. They're clones. Yeah. By and large, products of technical incest, because when this, during this process, and this is explained in something different, in something other kind of a manual, the, the entire DNA sequence of the mother of the egg was overridden, so it's all Veronica and, Al and Alexander here all the time. Yeah. So basically, we're sort of dealing with Veronica. What the, wasn't planned, however, was that a boy and a girl was born. The boy had higher intelligence than normal, but not high enough for him to be considered a genius. Also a bit... Also a bit daft in the head. <laughs> you're the smart, but you're not that smart. <laughs> yeah. The girl had unmatched intelligence that allowed her to be classified as a genius. So basically, I'll, so basically, Umbrella allowed 10-year-olds to work for them. Okay. Well then. So they're clones. Kind of gross, actually. I, would, I kind of expected better. What do you mean? I, what do you expect? Clones. No, I mean... Well, I mean, that's... That's what they are, clones. That's what they are. Yeah, I know, but... Come on. What, what were you expecting? What were you right? expecting? I don't know. If you don't know what you're expecting, how can you expect this to be any bad? Yeah. To be any bad? To bad. be any uh, you how can yeah. how can your expectations be any lower if you lower don't have any expectations, expectations of your own to begin with? Yeah. What have we here? You could shoot at it. No, that that's ridiculous. Bullets. No, that's ridiculous. <laughs> And then again, he punches he punches a boulder in the future. He doesn't know that now. He doesn't know that now. He doesn't realize his true glory and potential yet. Potential. Hey. There's bullets there, but I don't need it. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I'm trying to cut back. <laughs> I'm running out of space as is. I'm on a diet, see? <laughs> diet bullet. <laughs> a bullet diet? Alrighty, let's head in here. Wait, we're, we're, we're going back out. This hallway kind of looks familiar, don't it? Yeah. Remember the dollhouse? Oh, God. Ah, yes. Clean up the textures a bit, but it's really kind of copy-paste. Damn it! Uh, of course it is. Wait, did it say it was like form the other side? Did, did it? Look at that. <laughs> Holy I'm telling shit. you, this game was fucking wrong. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, they didn't even... Cow cop by their typos. I really don't even think they gave two shits about this game, to be honest. <laughs> Good eye on it. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't see that. It, it was like split second. I thought like... No. It's the same exact room. This is copy-paste. And I'm reusing fetch quests! So you gotta go back to the tiger? Yeah. Wow. Look at this shit. Yeah. Same friggin' bullet hole that Steve made. <laughs> Jesus! So I gotta get close to those things. Unfortunately, I got a different problem with that. I can't get up there. I can't get in there without getting the, um, biohazard key. So this is completely copy and paste. You're looking right at a one-for-one -one replica here, bud. Wow. That is pretty lazy. Dude, we're, we're reusing fetch quests. We're also reusing areas. Yeah. I mean, it's also, you know, it was kind of drawing a line when we got the real Spencer estate Mm -hmm. vibes from the beginning, but then now it just transitioned back to a place we've already been through in Claire's scenario. Literally. Because they honestly had no idea what else to make. 
I think they just ran out of fucking time. I think they didn't want to reuse the lab motif. Unless there's a lab area. We were just in said lab area. Yeah, well, it didn't look as bad. It didn't look as... Uh, there you are. Oh. Cool. Star room key. I gotta make room. <laughs> there's a typewriter if you need to save your game, which I will be using eventually. <laughs> eventually? Yeah. I have my case of writer's block. <laughs> How do I save game here? <laughs> All work and no play makes Chris a dull boy. Chris is already dull boy. 